Baraka Tehawa, Baraka Tehawa Shai. All you guys out there that think you're playing the most high and your Hawa Shai cheap, your Hawa Bashim Hawa Shai is going to start getting rid of you. Some of you guys are going to be given the boot. Some of you guys may even get put to death, you know, playing around with your Hawa Bashim Hawa Shai's uh, program and his, and, his, and his word. We have been entrusted with, with a great uh, um, word and a great work to do. And you guys out there that's playing games and playing around, the Most High is going to start doing things, man. Yahweh Bashi is going to start doing things. You know, because this is the year to push. You know, and these devils are pushing hard. The prophecies are coming out. And a lot of you guys are lollygagging and bullshitting. You think you did a, a, like a little stint, you know, a little, uh, uh, a little couple of years in the truth. And then now, now your, your thing is sealed? Nah, man. The Apostle Paul which the Spirit had me go that into it in the live show, the Apostle Paul, he was saying, look, man, I haven't apprehended yet, you know? So he said he's still pushing forward to, towards the mark, towards being delivered, you know, because he wasn't, he hadn't made it yet. Yahweh didn't didn't take that attitude. He did the work all the way until the end. He finished the work, you know? You got a lot of guys, you know, even, you know, top guys, you know, in different camps, you know, bullshitting. Playing games, you know, uh, pushing them, playing the most high in Yahweh Shai cheap. But the Lord's going to start dealing with you guys, man. You know, you see how the spirit is rolling, man. You, you know, you, going back to the beginning of this year, all kind of guys have been falling out. You know, top guys, you know, guys that, that were second in command, uh, you know, uh, heads of camps, all of that. Because the most high ain't playing, man. This is the year to push. And the most high is pushing you guys out of there too. Some of you guys that's full of shit you know that 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 you know a, a term that the pastor always used a third titty. You know your hands in the pocket, lukewarm guys. The Lord ain't dealing with that man. You know, you know you you take this work and whatever gift and whatever talent the Lord gave you, you use those talents. You know whether you're able to do you know so so much. You know you do you to, you do this work to to the best of your ability, and this work comes first. Your, your life outside of this work, you know, you, when you take care of that, when you take care of that. Some of you guys, you know, you, you, you uh, uh, put the most high in your house, shine the back burner, you know, and then you, you start, you know, uh, doing, uh, um, you start doing things uh, of the world before you would do things for the most high. Then, then when you get time, you know, if you have time, then you do stuff for the, for the Lord. You do work for the Lord. It don't work like that, man. It doesn't work like that. This is the book of uh, Revelation chapter 2. I'm going to start at the first verse. It says, Unto the angel of the church of, the of Ephesus write, These things saith he that holdeth the uh, seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the, in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience. You know what? I'm just going to, in the interest of time, I'm just going to jump down to the main, to the main point. Number four. Verse 4, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. A lot of you guys have left your first love. You know, you're falling into the category of a lot of, a lot of those old one West heads. You think because you did a, a little few years, that now, you know, and, and you got the name GMS, you know, on your, on your uh, you know, for, for, for uh, uh, you know, for your avatar or whatever, you know, on, uh, on YouTube, that you're safe. Ain't nobody safe till, till we get out of here, man. We are saved by hope. It says, Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Remember therefore from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works. Or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. And that's what's happening, man. You know, you know, guys, around the time of the Passover, that's the only time they get like a little nervous. If they don't get kicked out, before, during, or right after the Passover, then after that, the rest of the year, they, they, they go back to doing the bullshit they were doing. But this year, man, it's, it's been ongoing, man. It happened before the Passover, during the Passover, after the Passover, even to, to this very day right now. We're in uh, uh, the beginning of July, uh, 2016, and, and guys are still getting kicked out and falling out. You know, because they bullshit, lukewarm. This is the book of uh, St. John chapter 15 and uh, verse 1 you guys better start 
start paying attention to what the hell's going on. Better start listening to the Spirit, man. John 15 and 1. I am the true vine, and my Father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And that's what's happening. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. And that's the point. The point is, look, we were given money. This word is money. And we have to go out here and trade this money so that when Yahweh Shai comes back, he can receive uh, interest, usury, which is more, which is all the works that you're doing. You know, other souls coming into this thing, learning, being sealed. It says, now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except you abide in me. I am, see, if, so if you don't abide in your house shy, you know, you're not going to be able to uh, uh, gain fruit. You're not going to be able to prosper. You're not going to be able to uh, move forward. You're not going to, uh, uh, the, the uh, rivers of living water are not going to flow through you. It says, I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without, excuse me, for without me you can do nothing. Excuse me. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. You see, you ever see a tree where the, where the branch breaks off? That branch doesn't keep growing. That branch starts to wither away until it turns to nothing. You know, all of the nutrients that were in that, that, that branch, once the branch is severed from the tree and the roots, that's it. It's done. And that's what's happening. The Lord is casting guys out. The, 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 those branches are being severed. It says, And men gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. And you know what that means? That's talking about judgment. That's talking about this destruction when it comes. That's talking about the missiles, the nuclear missiles. That's talking about the lasers coming from the chariots. You know? So you don't want to be in that position. That's why the uh, Apostle Peter said, you know, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. And then he mentioned a, a bunch of things you could do. It said, if you do these things, you shall never fall. It says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall ask what you will and it shall be done unto you. Herein is my Father glorified that you bear much fruit, so shall you be my disciples. Alright, so now, next scripture, I'm going to go to uh, Luke, the 13th chapter. And I'm going to start at the 6th verse. It says, He spake also this parable, a certain man, now this parable is very short, but it's very poignant. It's, it says a whole lot. In just three verses. He spake also this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard. And he came and sought fruit thereon and found none. So if you have a, a tree, a fruit tree, no matter what it is that you planted or, or a vine or whatever. And you keep coming to the tree and it doesn't have any fruit to pluck off, uh, uh, off of it. So you can eat and satisfy your soul. What do you think is going to happen to that to that tree or that vine? It's going to be... Uh, taken down, ripped out, ripped out from the roots. Why? Because it's, it, it, it's better to be used to to, uh, to burn fire, you know, and to, and to keep the house warm or cook food than to just be sitting there taking up space. The Most High don't need no warm bodies. What, the, what Yahweh Bashem Al Shai needs is his elect men, his prophets out there teaching the word, pushing his word. We're in the year of the push. It says, it says, um, and found none, then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I came seeking fruit on this fig tree, and find none. Cut it down, why cumber it the ground? You know? So just because you've been in this thing a number of years, you can't live off of, of the things that you did in the past. You know? Forgetting about those things that were in the past and looking forward to those things that are in, in, in front of us. You know, that's what we have to live off of. You had guys that put up videos of Lahab and Yashawan and Yeshaya and all them guys. You know, this is how it used to be done. Man. Yeah, but what are they doing now? They ain't doing shit. You know why? Because those were branches that were casted out and they, they withered away. It says, And he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also till I shall dip about it and dung it. It's actually four verses. 
So, so this is Yahweh Shai saying, look, Lord, leave it alone, and I shall dig about it and dung it. I'm going to put the dung in it, you know, I'm going to make sure that everything is, you know, is, is done the proper way, so that, that it can bring forth fruit. And if it bear fruit, well, and if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. And that's why you have guys that are getting cut down and, and removed out of here because they're, they're, they're not doing anything. You know, got their hands in their pockets. They don't want to do videos. Apostle Tar had put out a decree that every man that's been in Israel, that when, when he first uh, has said it, he said two years. He actually said a few years before that, but then, then he went down to two years. Now it's one year because it is true. If you've been in this thing six months, you know a whole lot more than the average person out there. So imagine after a year of learning this truth. You know a whole lot. You should be able to do uh, uh, two videos a, 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 a week. You know, and then the brothers in Mississippi did a video. You can't do two videos a week. And then Apostle Tar took their video and uploaded it to his channel. Because it's true. You can't do two videos a week. Don't have to be long videos. You know, some information, or, 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 you know, uh, dealing with whatever. You no, know, as long as it's in the scriptures. Of pertinent things. So it says, and if it bear fruit well, and if not, then after that thou shalt cut it down. Uh, this is Matthew 3 and 10. This is uh, the book of uh, Matthew, chapter 3, and verse 10. It says, um, And now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees. Therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. You don't want to be that. You don't want to be that tree. You want to be the tree that 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 uh, bears more and more fruit, so that it could be uh, useful for the master's service. That's what you want to be. But a, a lot of you guys are gonna fall into this thing. Remember, Pastor Charles been saying this for years that a lot of you guys in GMS ain't right, man, and a lot of you is gonna fall out. You know, just because you got great millstone on your name don't mean shit. That's just a name that the Lord chose to to uh, separate. Uh, uh, the real teachers from the fake so it says and now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees the root of the trees so that it don't matter how long you've been in there therefore every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire and that's what's happening that's what's gonna happen you know and I got one more scripture and after that I'm gonna close this is Matthew 15 and 13 but he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. You know? So that's pretty much the deal. You know? So you better turn back to your first love, the first faith. You know? Stop playing the Most High cheap. Stop playing your Hawash High cheap. Remember the scriptures say, The Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever man sow, that shall he also reap. So if you reap into your flesh, what the hell you think you're going to uh, benefit from it? You know? If, you, if you're out there doing the things of the world, you know, uh, trying to get a house or... You know, I'm, I'm just going to the extreme, trying to get a house, you know, or doing things for your woman all the time, you know, say, ah, well, you know, I can't do nothing for the most high right now. I just got to do this right quick, you know, and once I finish this, then I, you know, if you keep doing that, you, if, if you reap to the flesh, you're going to, of the flesh, reap, uh, uh, sow corruption. But if you sow to the spirit, you shall reap benefits of the spirit and people will see it. I'll read that again. But he, uh, Matthew 15 and 13, but he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. So you guys that's playing the most high cheap, plant, or think that you're playing the most high cheap, and you're high cheap, the Lord is going to deal with you, man. You know, you lukewarm guys, the Lord is going to get rid of you, man. And it's been happening all, all throughout this year. It's been happening other years, but this year has been a major year for that. You know? You know, so with that, you know, I'm going to say, Shalom to the elect.